In my opinion, depression is not a deficiency of Prozac. What I see is people getting run down and stressed out and fatigued, not sleeping properly, worrying too much. You go to your doctor and you complain, you say a few buzzwords like, you know, I'm tired. You might even say, I feel a bit depressed. Now the doctor hearing the word depression is going to try to help you out and write you out a script for an antidepressant. But in my experience, if, if I can give that person magnesium and build up their magnesium stores, they, they actually are no longer depressed because they're sleeping better, they're less fatigued, they're less tired and less run down, and so they, they can cope with life. Magnesium naturally balances the amount of serotonin in your brain. Serotonin is the feel-good neurotransmitter. The Prozac is also working at the serotonin level. It, it stops serotonin from being broken down, so it builds up. And sometimes it builds up too much and people overreact to Prozac. So I find magnesium is, is a more natural way and, and a lot of folks feel the same, that they'd rather take a, a milder, more natural antidepressant serotonin enhancer than taking a drug. Life doesn't have to be depressing. Magnesium can also be used to treat anxiety. One of the stories I talk about in my magnesium book is someone who's on a, a diet, a high protein diet, and they, they get low blood sugar symptoms. And they interpret their low blood sugar as an anxiety attack. And partly it's because you need more magnesium when you're on a high protein diet. And also when someone's under stress, you can shoot out more adrenaline from your adrenal glands and make you feel like you're in a fight or flight situation. Your heart starts pumping and you, your palms start sweating. Well, magnesium can help balance out the adrenal glands and the adrenaline so you don't have those symptoms.